Hello and welcome to my MicroTik tutorial. My name is Steve Disher and I'm a MicroTik trainer. Today I want to show you how to use our MicroTik configurator. Now this is a brand new tool that was created by ISP Supplies as well as LearnMicroTik.com to help new users especially create uh, simple but very effective firewalls. In addition, the tool has the ability to allow you to create address lists to block access to or from certain countries. So it really has a lot of value in that respect in that you can create a configuration that is particular to uh, your needs. So the first step in using this tool is to decide which countries you might want to block traffic to or from your local area network. So the purpose of this is to decide countries that uh, you don't particularly want your users to be able to web browse to uh, services they might be providing from within their country or that type of thing. We also have other uses for this address list like preventing access to the router from certain countries. So uh, without picking on anyone in particular I'll just pick a few countries here and put check marks next to their names. The second step is to generate the address list that we're going to use for our configuration. So to do that, I click Generate Address List, and it wants me to save the file, so I will save it now to my Downloads folder. The next step is to scroll down and decide which type of firewall we want to create. In our particular example, our configuration is uh, very close to the network diagram that we see here. We have a router that is connected to the internet, but it's also connected to our local area network or LAN. On our local area network, we're using RFC 1918 or private addresses, so the router will be masquerading all of our traffic through our single public address. So this is the right type of firewall that we want to create. The only thing we really need to know from the router is what our LAN interface is named. So using the Winbox tool, we're going to log into our router and we're going to click the Interfaces button and that will show us all of our interfaces. Now in this particular example, I'm using the default configuration that comes on the router board 750 that we have in our lab environment. And in this particular configuration, we have four Ethernet ports that are slaved together, with Ethernet 2 being the master port. So from the router's perspective, all traffic will appear to be coming from or uh, going out of Ethernet 2. So Ethernet 2 is both our ingress and egress port for the local area network. You may have devices connected to Ethernet 2, 3, 4, or 5, but again, in the switch configuration where Ethernet 3, 4, and 5 are slaved off of Ethernet 2, all traffic will be appearing to come from or exit from Ethernet 2. So in order to get the name of the interface exact and not make any mistakes, I like to double click the interface and then on the general tab I can right click on the interface name and select copy and we're done with the router for the time being. Now I'm going to paste that interface name into our LAN interface name box that you see here and click the button that says generate the masquerading firewall and once again I'm going to save that file. So now we've created two files that we should be able to find in our download folder on our router or rather on our laptop. So here are the two files. I'll go ahead and delete these other files just to get them out of the, the picture for us here. And these are the two files that we've created. The first is the IP firewall address list, which is the list of all addresses that we want to, to block based upon the country name. And the second file is a configuration file with all of the commands that we need to configure our masquerading firewall. So the next step is to move that window to the side and open up our router once again. And I'll shut any windows that we have open on the router and click the files folder here on the left hand side. And this will open up the files list. Now you can see that I have an address list here from a previous configuration. So I'll go ahead and delete that just to start out with a clean list. Next I can select both of the files that I want to drag into my router and drag and drop them both at the same time. 
The next step is to launch a new terminal window and I'm going to import both of these files that I've created. And the command for importing is very simple. It's just import and then the file name. If you can't remember the file name, hit the tab key and it will show you all importable files. So first I'll select my IP firewall address list and import it and it tells me that the file has been loaded and executed successfully. I'll hit the tab key again after the import command get the name of my next file which is maskfirewall.rsc type the name of the file hit enter and that file also has been imported successfully so the very last step is to take a look at the entries that were created in our configuration I will do that under IP firewall first of all the address list tab and what we see here are 22 items 22 different subnets that are associated in our database with these particular countries. Now larger countries like um, Europe, United States, the address list are much longer, maybe 4,000 or 10,000 entries. But nevertheless, uh, we have all those entries in our address list now, so we need to look at the rules that will actually reference those entries. And that's found on the filter rules tab there you're going to see a number of rules that have been created by the script that you just imported into the router. I'm going to filter these based upon the forward rule first of all. The one rule that's really important here is the number one rule or the second in the list. And if we double click on the rule what we'll see is that in the forward chain which is all traffic coming from our network or going back to our local area network and then on the advanced tab we're looking for traffic that's coming from the addresses in our address list called country IP blocks our action is going to be dropped so now if one of our users tries to web browse to one of these countries that are listed in the address list country IP blocks they won't get any return traffic coming from those particular sites if you don't want that feature simply disable the rule by clicking the X and the router will work normally with just a normal type of firewall. The other list that we want to take a look at is the input rules. These are rules that protect the router itself. And you'll notice for safety that the very last rule, the drop rule, this is the one that actually will be dropping traffic to the router and will protect your router from attacks. You'll notice that this rule is grayed out and it's done that way on purpose so that you don't accidentally get disconnected from the router in the process of configuration. But in order to actually put the firewall into place and put it into production, we need to make sure that we enable this rule. But I always like to recommend that you enable it in safe mode. So to enable safe mode, you click the safe mode button and you'll see the button become depressed. Then you'll click the check mark to enable that last rule and then just as a good safety check I like to open a new terminal and just make sure the router is still responding which it is once we've done that we can exit safe mode and now we have a fully functional firewall that will block access for our users to any countries that appear in the address list if you decide at a later time that you want to add more countries to your list you can do that as well simply uncheck any entries that you may have previously checked if you want to ensure that you've done that you can simply reload the page and that will ensure that all existing check marks are unchecked then we can add additional countries download the new address list we'll minimize our browser once again we'll click the files button We'll delete any files that we have there for uh, sake of clarity. We'll drag in the new address list that we created. The next step is the one we've already done to launch a new terminal. Type the import command, the name of the file, click the enter key, and new address entries will then be added. 
So that's it for our Microtik tutorial and instructional video showing you how to use our masquerading firewall generating tool as well as how to install the configuration on your router and be able to block access to certain countries based upon their IP blocks. My name is Steve Disher and I appreciate you joining us today.